Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 17 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we basically state we start with two numbers, b and c, and we multiply them by the same number, a, with the result being d and e. And this proposition states that if we do that, then the ratio of b to c will be equal to the ratio of d to e. So let's look at this. Now, we're starting with d equals a times b and e equals a times c. And our unit is going to be the length f. So according to the definition of multiplication, if d is equal to a times b, that means that b measures d the same number of times that f measures a. And again, let's just look at it visually. b measures d two times in this example, and the unit f measures a two times. So again, the definition of multiplication, that means that a times b is equal to d. Now, from the definition of ratios, if we have that b measures d the same number of times that f measures a, then again, the definition of ratios says that the ratio of f to a is equal to the ratio of b to d. And if we apply the same logic for a times c, we have that the ratio of f times a is equal to the ratio of c to e. Therefore, since f, the ratio of f to a is the same in both of these cases, then the ratio of b to d is equal to the ratio of c to e. Alternatively, using proposition 13 of this book, the ratio of b to c is equal to the ratio of d to e. And there we have shown that the ratios of b to c is equal to the ratio of d to e, when d is equal to a times b, and e is equal to a times c. Okay. 